So much like many people, I was very excited to get a hold of the new Mario 3D All-Stars collection, and now that I've played all the games a bit, how do they hold up today? In this video, I'm not going to be covering the performance or differences to the originals much, as so many other creators have covered that. This is more of my experience with these games in the modern day. First, I'll cover the classic. Mario 64, one of the internet's most iconic games of all time. It still holds up very well despite the game being older than I am. The platforming is still solid, I rarely find myself missing a platform because I don't know where the floor is relative to Mario himself. The level design is still fun to traverse, and there are plenty of different environments to keep the player engaged. The main nitpick I have with 64 is that the environment feel a bit empty at times, and even when there are NPCs, they rarely have more than a few lines of dialogue. It's not really an issue, but the world feels like they don't really exist without Mario, if that makes sense. Next, the game that the internet seemed to have neglected for the longest time, Mario Sunshine. I've always liked this game, despite not playing it much, as it was my brother's at the time, but today it's nice to have a proper 360 degree camera, something that 64 and Galaxy don't have, and contrary to most people, I really like having one theme, in this case a beach holiday, over many different worlds, like Mario 64. I could see why some people didn't like Flood at the time, as it took some of the focus away from Mario himself and made him rely on a tool to traverse. But for me, I really like Flood, as it gives Mario more abilities that are a lot more useful than they at first might seem, like hovering in the air for 5 seconds, or I can just fly over enemies and reach high places, such as Ruse easier. Delfino Plaza as a hub world is awesome to explore in my opinion, as there are many secrets and areas to find, even though I mostly spend my time seeing how high I can parkour before inevitably falling off. Now we get to Mario Galaxy, the game that I grew up with and have the most nostalgia for. This is at least one of my favourite games of all time. As for me, the gameplay is responsive and runs with a solid frame rate. The environments, although being smaller than I'd like, are varied and add many unique ways to play. The space theme is still awesome to look at even over a decade later, and the music is arguably some of the best in any game ever. Absolutely incredible. It's such a fun experience, and anybody who hasn't played it yet must rectify that mistake immediately. Now that I read the script, I'm not exactly sure what I wanted to talk about. I just like these games alright, there's a whole lot I would have liked them to add in this collection. But the fact that Mario Galaxy can be played in handheld mode, well, I'm sold. So that's the video. If you guys would like a more in-depth video on each game individually, let me know below. And if you like it, go buy some of the game, it won't last long.